Hey, what's going on? YouTube Paradox here, and welcome back to my channel. Okay, so um, today's episode, we are going to take a look at Vivi and Karu's gameplay. So I hesitated a bit in doing gameplay for this character because I gotta be honest, I don't really, really like her. I don't think she is even worthy to be a bounty fest character because uh, uh, when I look at her traits, right, and then when I use her, I kind of felt like she is a step up unit. You know what I'm saying? Uh, like at, uh, at the time when I'm doing this video, uh, Orobi uh, has actually like come out, and I just feel like Orobi is a much better runner compared to Vivi and Karu. Okay, so I'm gonna go through her traits like really, really quickly. So what I like about Vivi and Karu is that number one, she has the uh, self healing factor. So if let's say you are not moving. Uh, she is going to inflict self with with steady recovery, strong. Uh, so if you are standing still, uh, Karu will actually drink, uh, and then uh, she's going to have that uh, HP recovery. And she also increases treasure gauge recovery. Uh, although I'm not sure if let's say it is as good. Uh, or even comparable to when Defender is filling in the treasure gauge and also uh, she has that 1 HP uh, left trait where it's uh, I mean it's not easy for her to die okay not easy for her to be one-shotted also uh, she has decent uh, or, or if I can say quite good boost cap, uh, capture speed boost so 50% uh, capture speed boost if, if strength is more than 70% and whenever you knock back an enemy increase capture speed by 10% so up to 30% so you knock back enemy three times then you are able to maximize your capture speed all right so she's got a damage reduction a bit uh, and HP recovery when capturing a treasure so not too shabby um, another interesting point about Vivi is that um, her skill 1 which is Peacock String Slasher Run Back can actually move in between like spaces like for example in Dressrosa uh, there is a gap right in between the land uh, you can actually jump uh, across the gap so yeah she is quite useful in maps like Along, uh, of course, again, Dress Rosa. Um, yeah, I think that's yeah, perhaps Along Park and uh, Dress Rosa, where her skill one might be really, really useful. And then let's go, Karu. Uh, skill two is a skill where she actually like rides on Karu and Karu runs uh, faster. So the skill is not too bad. Like, skill two actually, like, you, you, you kind of move faster. Uh, uh, and it helps you to reach the mid flex uh, quicker uh, but if let's say you have Orden as opponent I think you reach about like almost the same time yeah um, like even though if you reach first uh, you might be in uh, uh, in danger because once you capture the flag Orden is usually already there to hit you up with his skill all right so uh, let's take a look at the metal set that i used so at the time when i recorded the gameplay my vv and karu is level 80 so really fragile really vulnerable and uh, she's boost one okay thankfully she is boost one already i have enough resources and i equip her with um, a like quite universal set so cypher pull set where you have a uh, 20% uh, capture speed sorry sorry 14% because it is a pet metal uh, tag effect and uh, also she is equipped with 36% um, uh, attack and 70% defense so yeah really uh, I mean quite okay trade okay so the reason why I use defense is because I want her to last a bit longer in the match and uh, her character support the character support that I use for her is hang on let me just show you 156.6 um, percent uh, so quite high so I use defender uh, tag effect so that she can have more defense uh, even though I truly suggest uh, for you guys to go for runner because runner whenever run, uh, runner tag effect Whenever you capture a treasure, it gives you a bit extra a, tra a treasure gauge amount. Yeah, uh, uh, increase the base treasure gauge amount by thirty percent, uh, and also it gives you more HP. So either defender or runner, uh, but runner is more uh, preferable in my opinion. Also, it is good for you to equip her with worst generation tech because she's got knockback. Okay, her skill to have knockback. So if you are able to push uh, opponent. 
uh, quite far from the treasure area that will give you ample time enough time to capture the treasure and move on to the next one okay so that's it without further ado let's get into the gameplay shall we all right ladies and gentlemen so the first match that we are looking at today is at drum island we've got two rogers as our opponent we've got two onigashima luffy so all are scary opponents 169k uh, total party power and we are going against 177k which is much higher and as you can see both are boost to level 100 rogers okay so at drum island i always love to use skill to first uh, definitely because you know it helps Vivi to move faster but since I saw a runner behind me okay my ally I decided to knock back uh, the opponent so that I can you know give uh, some room to my ally to capture the flag because if I stop at the mid flag I know Roger will kamusari me okay I don't I will not have enough time to run away so my as well I leave it to my ally and I knock back Roger first so that is how teamwork uh works okay you know what i mean okay so here i don't know like why i wasn't stunned but the reason why i am able to run away from uh luffy's uh skill is because uh for vv whenever you use the virtual d-pad you actually inflict yourself with nullify stagger so yeah i think that is how it works okay that, that is the reason why uh i'm able to es uh, escape from luffy's skill so nice so e flag is empty and earlier i have knocked back like uh, uh, a few rogers so i actually have extra um uh, capture speed increase yeah if i recall correctly and um uh, right now i'm just like looking at the map uh, trench run away i was a bit lucky with the perfect dodge there and right now i'm capturing the flag so i have full health which means um i have actually uh, more capture speed okay and um, if let's say your health is more than 70% you have extra 50% capture speed boost uh, again and then also like I said earlier if you knock back an enemy increase uh, uh, it will increase your capture speed by 10% up till maximum of 30% so of course uh, since my VV is very weak the best thing that I can do is like run away but there is someone behind me looking at the map there is someone behind trying to chase me I think that is really Okay, and um, I'm trying to stop Onigashima Luffy here, but seeing how little damage I uh, did to him, well, decided to not stay there and run away. So, opponent have T-boost right now, and I need to survive this. I need to survive really because really is pretty annoying. So, I knock back both of them. Cool. Pretty cool, huh? And then, uh, uh, run away up to the mid flag, and thank God it is um, half empty. And that is uh, that makes it so much easier for me to capture the flag um yeah also whenever you capture treasure right you can actually recover your hp uh, by 25 percent and that is really amazing uh because you know how her uh, boost in capture speed is dependent uh, also on her health so yeah uh, the fact that she actually recovers some hp when capturing flag makes it really helpful so well definitely in drum island you cannot utilize much of her skill one but skill two it, it it helps a lot okay and i'm able to get that last minute kill so four flags captured pretty cool even though i'm using a weak vv but uh, since the uh, opponent uh, don't know how to guide the flags very well i'm able to become the mvp so gg team gg <laughs> the roger in our team uh, scores the last place well, that is so funny. <laughs> okay, so moving on. Uh, the next match is at Along Park. So Along Park is quite good. Okay, it's quite a good map for <coughs> VV mainly because her skill one uh, can help her travel across the I don't know what you call it, like pond, okay, river or whatever it is. Um, so, but of course, um, uh, when I uh, use VV, right, when I do this gameplay. Uh, Vivi is still pretty new uh, to the game so not not many people actually aware of uh, her skill but I think sooner or later once people are more aware of Vivi's skill then uh, uh, it might be a bit tougher to actually uh, uh, steal flags you know especially the opponent's base flag so I was like uh, standing there because I want to heal myself however I was hit by Usopp's uh, skill too so really annoying because uh, even though you stay stationary right 
But if they say you are stunned, you cannot heal. Okay. So thank God there is a mid there and there is no defender at their base flag, at the E flag. So I travel towards it and easy clutch. And done. Alright, so right now someone just respawned. Um, we've got God Uso, so hopefully he doesn't come here. So thank God. And I'm just going to stay there and refill the treasure gauge a bit. So also, uh, if I can uh, add, okay, if let's say... You are not moving inside your own treasure. You actually increase treasure gauge recovery amount. Okay, so that kind of makes her, um, I'd say, uh, not similar to defender, but it kind of helps. Okay, it kind of helps uh, to at least fill up the treasure gauge much faster. So so far so good. Um, as it is, I'm always at full health, and uh, that of course again helps me a lot to. Uh, capture the flag faster if needed to so right now we have catch five flags and looking at the map this is where uh, uh, I mean this this is where we have the most fight so I'm trying to help like uh, all then there but it seems like <laughs> he, do he doesn't hit my help and I was like that anyways but thankfully we are able to uh, finish the match with five flags captured so yep pretty cool and um, Finally, uh, on to our final gameplay. So, well, in this match, definitely my allies carried me. We have um, two Rogers, we have uh, two Ordens as well. Uh, 189k total party power. We are going against 184. So, <clears throat> even though the total party power is quite balanced, but I'd say we have the advantage because we have more Roger. So, again, uh, skill 2 at the start. So, uh, it is a fight between me and Odin and as you can see, I am no match for Odin. My headbutt, my Karus headbutt is no match for Odin. Skill 1 and there is Lofi there. I was like, oh my god, I shouldn't have dodged. I should have actually attacked him. But well, sadly, sadly, I did a bad decision there. Um, <clears throat> this this match is actually where I actually... Um, one of the examples where uh, it's really hard for me to steal a flag uh, if I don't have... Uh, I'd say like opportunity to do so. What I mean is that if my allies don't give me enough room to uh, steal a flag, then it's really hard. Uh, <clears throat> not like blaming it on my ally. Uh, if let's say the opponent is really good as well, then it will be harder for me to steal the flag. Especially when you have like defenders around, right? So some defenders, they know that their job is to cut the flag. Instead of pushing forward, they, they rather uh, stay at their flag and uh, that is what makes it hard for me to find some, uh, to find any room to even capture a flag. Okay, so as you can see earlier, it's very hard for me to attack Robin. So with VV, right, you really need to position yourself very well so that you directly hit the opponent head on. If not, you you are going to end up like circling around them without even harming them. So I'm trying to steal the E flag, but Roger saw me, and uh, they have team boost. So, and I'm, I'm trying to attack him with my skill one, but it seems like, uh, well, nothing happens. So thank God I'm able to kill uh, Lofi here. So, it, it is actually kind of like it's it's bad of me because I kind of steal that that kill, but this time around I'm able to kill Law legitly. Okay, <laughs> so I I don't steal anybody's kill, and. Um, so again like one minute left so I was wondering what should I do since I don't have much health anyways uh, it is much better that I die and of course since we have plenty of time I'm going to wait for VV again so um, overall overall VV right um, I'd say she's as a bounty fast character to be honest I don't think she deserves it because she she feels more of like a step up character her trait is okay okay not too bad uh, of course, her skill one is re is really lovely, but you need to play it in uh, a certain maps only. Okay, the best is of course like Along and Dressrosa, where you can utilize her skill one. But uh, other than that, she is as if as if like she's a normal step up runner, you know. So yeah, that's why. Well, to me, Vivi is really not worth summoning. But nonetheless, again, like I said, uh, if you like her, go ahead, get a copy uh, and level her up slowly. So, because 
I just think that your RD is worth more for other characters okay so that's it boys and girls thank you so much for watching please like the video and subscribe to my channel i'll see you guys next next time take care ciao